Hi guys. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me questions about what type of board to buy. It's um, paddle boarding is becoming such a popular sport and once you've had a lesson, usually the first thing you want to do is buy a board. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through a little bit of advice or you know how I ended up picking the boards that I have. So here we are. Um, these are my kind of beginner boards. Uh, they're inflatable boards. Nowadays, the inflatables are very popular because they can pack away into the size of a backpack. It does only takes a few minutes really to pump them up. You can get electric pumps if you want. Um, I started with the Mistral board and I do love that for lessons. Um, it's 11 foot 5 and, and it's um, really wide as well. I'll show you the exact dimensions are on here. <clears throat> So it's 11 foot 5, it's 31 inches wide and it's 6 inches thick. So um, the thickness just means that it, your feet stay dry when they're in the water. If it's nice and, if the board itself is nice and thick, keeps your feet out of the water. You can see here if you're standing on that. And then um, the nice thing about these boards as well, they've got little lanyards that you can put your stuff into to carry things out if you're out in the water any length of time. And... Um, this is just a really good beginner board. I always put anyone that's taller on that. Men generally, I always try and get them on that board because it's just a little bit easier to balance. Um, more expensive though, you know, it's a really good quality board. You're looking for anything between, I think about 700 to 1,000 pounds probably for that. Um, but it's lasted me forever. I've taken it on holidays. I do love it. Um, this board is what I bought last year because I saw a lot of people using them. You can buy them easily off Amazon, um, next day delivery, and um, it's like half the price. It was um, just under £300. So um, I just bought that to give it a try and have to say it's they've worked really well. They're easy to pump up and everything. Um, no problems with them. It's The only thing is it's 10 foot 6. So when you're buying a paddle board, um, it's going to be cheaper if it's shorter. So I would say the main thing to look out for is size because if it's um anything under 10 foot 6 you're gonna you, if you're if you're tall or if you're an adult even you're gonna feel a little bit wobbly on it and you want to go out on the water with confidence um you want to feel safe obviously i would go for a bigger board 10 foot 6 is the shortest it's perfect for kids for, for um children if you're short 10 foot 6 is really good but if you are, I would say like over five, seven plus, I would go for the bigger board. I mean, the first board I ever bought was about 12 foot, I think. And it's just great for everything. Um, long distance paddle boarding, yoga, everything. Um, well, no, I say everything, not ever, quite everything. I bought this one particularly for surfing. If you're really into surfing or you want to give that a try, step surfing, this is my South board, Point board. Now, this is a hard board. I do prefer that. In the waves and um, this is it's about 10 foot and it's much smaller board it's just I bought it just because it's easy to maneuver in the sea so you can turn more quickly and um, as you can see it's been well worn need to get new decking for it um so that's a hard board I think I got that um second hand you know, sometimes you can but at the end of season there's a sale so I think I bought that at the end of season sale in Donegal and um, I think it might have been about 700 euros or something like that maybe more um, and then the thing is I had to buy a paddle with that as well on top of that a paddle usually starts the cheapest about 100 pounds and the good thing about those inflatables are that the paddle is, is, in, is included if you're buying it separately you're usually starting around 100 pounds the cheaper paddles will be heavy and if you've got issues with your shoulders, it could irritate your shoulders if you're doing a lot of paddling. Um, I forked out and spent more and got a nice carbon fibre paddle because it's lighter weight. And that brings me on to this hard board at the back, Mistral. Uh, really lovely long distance racing board, really. Uh, it's like 12 foot you know, dimensions, 12 foot 6. It's 70 centimeters wide and it's tw 25 liters volume or something, but it's um, it's a really good board for longer distance. It's long and pointy, so a little bit harder to steer, but um, really safe in the water, heavy, it's a heavy board. 
Uh, the only problem with these heavy boards, um, fiberglass boards, are that you have to get a car to sit. <laughs> so not only do you have a new uh, paddle board, but you've got to change your car. So you, you need something with a riff rack. Might not have to change it. Something with a riff rack. Be prepared to drive a little bit more slowly uh, on the motorways and everything because um, you don't want your board to t take off the top of the riff. You're always a little bit more anxious because you've got it, have you got it taped down. You can't take it on holidays. So that's the only but drawback with this fiberglass boards, but they are lovely. So I hope that's helped. And um, the other boards that I've come across as well, um, I like Mistral. Another good quality one would be Red Paddle. I don't actually own one, but uh, they're very good. Uh, they're probably around the same price range. You're looking between seven, if you're lucky, to at least a thousand pounds. And um, Starboards, they're really good. Fiberglass boards too. And um, there is the Barefoot Paddle. I've just come across that one recently. And it's got um, good big paddle board, inflatable, and it's, I think it was less than 500 pounds. So, you know what, it's becoming such a popular sport. There's more and more um, brands coming out, especially with inflatables. So, you know, you're lucky if you're buying a paddle board now, you'll get, you will get a really good deal. And then the last question is wetsuits. So, um, do you need a wetsuit? Not everybody wears wetsuits, but um, I certainly, I like paddle boarding all year round, so I would have to have a winter wetsuit for that um in the summer if it's really hot you I mean you can have a shorty suit there's a shorty suit here and um, or that's just a, a sort of a wetsuit top which are kind of handy if the weather's nice you just wear shorts and um something on top it's just a matter if it get if it rains you'll feel a bit cold with northern ireland that that's always an option and um you might get a bit chilly so the wetsuit short wetsuit's handy for that but there are a lot of hardcore people who swim every day in the sea that would never ever wear a wetsuit in their entire life and um, you can just wear your you know t-shirt shorts leggings whatever you're comfortable nothing too heavy like woolen because if you fall off you'll sink it'll just fill up with water so just uh something to be careful about too anyway i hope that's covered as you can see look it's a gorgeous flat day um, it's such a wonderful sport. I'm so excited for you buying your first paddleboard. If I haven't answered your question, please give me a shout. I'm very happy to, to help you. And um, yeah, enjoy and definitely get a lesson first because it's uh, good to keep you safe. And um, yeah, and there's so many other fun things to do like the yoga and long distance, sub safaris, you name it. Enjoy. Thanks for listening.